Liverpool is in my blood. It's where I grew up. It's the city that shaped me both as a man and as a fighter. I had a tough upbringing for sure, but I took every opportunity given to me to make me a better boxer and a person. This is a proud city with a rich boxing legacy and I am very honored to be part of it. I don't need boxing brings together many creeds and cultures from all over the world. Kenya's reigning women's WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World is here in Liverpool training for her next title defense in Nairobi. I've run it by your coaches and asked them if that can take you a little bit on the pads. Is that okay? See what you've got? Yes, Tony. How do you feel the differences between preparing in Africa and preparing in England? We have talent in Kenya, but we don't have good coaches. We don't have uh, bags like a gym for boxing. It's amazing to think that you have risen to the level you have risen to without the basic things of a boxing ring, a punching bag. Just take the time to go boom, boom, bam, and then stand back, boom. I always wanted to impress my father and say, look at me, I can fight, I can do this. For you, how did your journey in, in the boxing world start? Uh, my journey to boxing was uh, very tough. My mom was a single mom, okay. so I was uh, finding something at least to help my mom. Boxing was your way out, yeah. your way out of poverty, your way out of hard times, very similar to mine. How do you see coming into this fight that you're going to take the opportunity and also make it count. The more I train here, mm. the more I'm going to be better. I'm not struggling like uh, to pay my rent, my kids to go to school, mm. or to eat, or to go to the gym. So, it changed my life. I've done enough getting punched out, I don't like doing this. When I come over to Nairobi, what am I in store for? I'm going to show you who I am in the ring. <laughs>